Square Meals Weekly Video News. I'm Ben. And I'm India. You've a much more impressive tan than I have uh, to show for your week off. Where have you been? I've been in Greece, actually, so thanks for that. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I basically lay on the beach and ate a lot of Greek salad. So I've been a bit sad to be home, but my spirits are lifted by the arrival of two Greek restaurants in the capital. We had Milos in Mayfair opening this weekend, which is really fresh, like Greek seafood. Mm. They've got a raw bar there. Really, really good. Often Greek food is not that done that well in London, I think. Um, we also had Souvlaki in Soho, which opened in July. They're doing Greek food really well, so kebabs, lamb, mm. flatbreads. So I'm definitely going to get down there and check them out to sort of cheer myself up. Greece is the word in London restaurants then? Yes, yes. Look out for that trend kicking off even further, I think. What about you, Ben? You've been away, haven't you? I have been away. I've been in Edinburgh, which might not be uh, as good as Greece for a ton, but is uh, definitely a great place for eating out. Um, I was up at the festival, um, so if you're heading up there um, over the rest of August, um, I've got some recommendations for you. Um, for a really super light lunch made from great fresh ingredients, try the Gardener's Cottage, which is a, a bit like Edinburgh's equivalent of Petish and Nurseries. Um, for a really eye-opening dinner, I'd recommend Azel, uh, where there's a no-choice five-course tasting menu based around uh, uh, fresh ingredients, chalk stuff on a blackboard, um, and then of course no visit to the Scottish capital would be complete without a visit to its legendary cocktail bar, Bramble. Um, so there you go, three really great suggestions if you're heading up for the festival. Um, back in London though now, uh, where, where else have you been eating since you came back? I actually was very lucky, I went to Hawksmoor in Spitalfields last night, an old classic, still as good as ever, so lots of steak and their signature salted caramel Rolos. So I've been rolling around the office a bit today, but it's not stopped me from going to Duck and Waffle tonight, which apparently is the tallest restaurant in Western Europe. I believe so. Uh, which is weird because there's so many ones up high at the moment, but uh, yeah, it's very excited about that. I'm going to try their signature dish, Duck and Waffle. Um, also, last night I went down to the London Riviera, which is a really cool pop-up by Tower Bridge. They've got like a bar, really summery, it's all pink and blue, flamingos, gold pineapples, lots of syrup vodka, and they've just started bottomless boozy brunch, so definitely going to go and check that out. Other pop-ups, Dinorama, which was the um, big street food festival in Shoreditch that had a fire a couple of weeks ago, that's now managed to reopen and they've got some of the best, they're done by the same guys who do street feast, got some of the best traders, smokestack for your brisket, donuts, everything. Mm. So a really nice place to go at the weekend and I'm sure they'd appreciate the support after the fire. So yeah, go and check that one out. Make the most of the summer at these pop-ups. Definitely, definitely. What about you, Ben? Anything else going on? It's a fairly quiet week for restaurant news. Uh, lots of people are on holiday, I think. Uh, but one place that is launching next Thursday, which is the 27th of August, is a restaurant called Warlier down in Fulham. Um, this is one for all you beer fans out there. Beer often is a, a rather secondary drink in restaurants after wine. Not here at Warlier. Um, not only are as much of the cooking match to beer, um, but a lot of the dishes are based around uh, ha have beer as an ingredient in them. So even if it wasn't a quiet week for restaurant launches, Warlier would uh, really stand out from the crowd. Um, not a lot else going on with restaurants, to be honest, um, but any, any bits of juicy restaurant news that you've heard in India? Well, funny you should say that. The Ivy has been spreading its tendrils. It's opening two more restaurants, one in Marlborough and one in Kensington. We actually broke the news for anyone else a few weeks ago, so that was really exciting. They're going to be a bit more casual. One's a cafe and one's a brasserie, so a lower price point probably to reflect that, but really great that they're becoming more accessible to everyone, mm. so can't wait for that. It's going to be easier and easier to get a table at the Ivy these exactly. days, I think. Exactly. Let's hope it still stays really as good as it is. Mm. Um, that's it from us for this week. Thank you as ever to the counter in Vauxhall for hosting us. We'll be back again next week. In the meantime, you can keep up with um, all of our restaurant news on Twitter at squaremeal.co.uk. Um, and don't forget, we've got some fantastic prizes if you book through Square Meal. This week's is one of the best yet. It's uh, the, a year's worth of fresh flowers delivered straight to your door when you book a restaurant through squaremeal.co.uk. Um, if you've liked this, then uh, please like us down here. Also, of course, uh, share it if you liked it. And we'll be back next week. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.